I am an ECHO volunteer at the ECHO antenatal class and a heart parent to my child Tilly. I have been volunteering in the antenatal classes now for the last three years. I decided to become a volunteer for these classes after we attended one ourselves um, because our daughter had been diagnosed with a heart condition. I found the talk from the mother exceptionally useful. It didn't have all the medical jargon and all the medical abbreviations, but was just a mother speaking about her child and the experience they had gone through. Tilly was born at St Thomas's on the 29th of January with a team standing by in the room to take her to NICU. That's the neonatal intensive care unit. They had all introduced themselves to me as they came into the room and waited in a side alcove of the room so Tilly's birth felt very personal and private with only a midwife and a trainee in my view. I was allowed to give her a cuddle and then she was taken to NICU. She spent several days here being given medication and having her oxygen levels monitored, during which time she was fed through an NG tube. There are a lot of wires and tubes around her, but in the middle of it was Tilly and we focused on her and got very adept at picking her up and holding her, even with all the attachments. At 13 days old, Tilly had open heart surgery to remove, swap over and reattach the arteries of her heart. She spent the next seven days recovering before coming home to her Moses basket. Tilly will have to have checkups for the rest of her life to ensure her arteries are still working as well as they should be. And if she decides to have children, she will have to be monitored throughout. But she is otherwise a fit and healthy, mischievous little girl who loves to swim, do ballet and run around after her big brother. During your stay, it might be worth taking with you some of the following things. Um, a pre-charged charge block and cables to charge your phone, because it's quite hard to find anywhere to plug it in. Um, comfy clothes with pockets, because you can't take your bags onto the ward, so you'll need to have your phone, keys, etc. on you. Um, if you'd like to keep one, either a baby book or journal and a pen. Enough clothes for yourself because you don't want to be worrying about washing and ironing while you're staying there. And some nice things for yourself like hand cream because you will be washing your hands frequently. Um, any face wipes you like, body moisturisers, that sort of thing. And also any aids that you would like to use during the birth. So I know ladies who've had different music or hypnotherapy playing in the background. You can keep it as original as you want. One of the other things I would suggest doing is taking yourself outside of the hospital, even if it's just for 10, 15 minutes to walk around the grounds every day, because it can get very enclosed if you stay inside the building the whole time. It's always good to give yourself that little bit of a break and just be able to clear your head for five minutes. Um, there's also a very nice garden room at the hospital, which I'm sure the staff will be able to tell you more about. During your pregnancy and before you actually go into hospital, if you have any queries or concerns, you can always contact the Tower Midwife team, um, who are happy to help and answer any questions that they can. It's quite hard when you're involved in, in this sort of situation as to how to cope, especially um, on the day of the operation. For myself and my husband, we found the best way of dealing with it was to take our son out for the day. Um, we took him into London and did the Transport Museum, and went for pizza with his grandparents as well. And then we got the phone call to say Tilly had come out of surgery. And at that point we returned to the hospital and my son went home with his grandparents. Um, when Tilly was back on the ward, we obviously couldn't talk to her because she was uh, very heavily medicated to help her chest recover. But it was just nice to know that uh, she was back with us. ECHO as a charity have uh, been a great support to myself and my family. We've uh, used them a few times, generally just for a friendly voice at the end of the phone who can relate to what you are talking about. and just reassure you or if you have a query they can find out the answer they're always keen to help 
and um, to introduce you to other families in similar situations. So I found them a very valuable resource.